it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel and my last video in my 2020 Christmas gift guide series. I've already done three videos in this series so far this year. Uh, Monday's video was what we're giving our 16 year old for her Christmas tree gifts. Tuesday was what we're giving her for her stocking. Yesterday was what we're giving our 10 year old for her Christmas tree gifts. And today, the last video in this series, I'm showing you what we're giving our 10 year old for her stocking. So some of these things are kind of big. I get, I get asked this question a lot. How does this stuff fit in your stockings? And it doesn't. We actually, when I say stockings, we actually have like, um, they're pretty much like sacks, like felt sacks that are drawstring at the top. So they're pretty much the size of a pillowcase. So it makes it a lot easier to get in larger items. So this year, each girl has seven Christmas tree gifts and 10 stocking stuffers. That's probably less than they've had in a long time because they really tried hard this year to pare down and only give them things that either they ask for or we had room for or I think they'll specifically like or use. Not that I didn't try to give them things they would like or use in the past, it's just I gave them a lot of things and honestly you get to the point where you're like, we have so many things already. I really, really tried to focus on what they're gonna like and use the most and then their birthdays come right after Christmas. So whatever I don't give them for Christmas, um, I can save it for their birthday. I don't know if I'll be able to link some of these things because a lot of them I found at Ollie's, not Aldi's, not the grocery store, but Ollie's, O-L-L-I-E-S. It's like a big, um, it's kind of like a discount store like Marshall's, but it's way bigger. So um, I got a lot of these things there and I'm not really sure if they're available anywhere else. If they are though, I will link them. So the first thing I picked up, and yes, I will take the price tags off uh, before I wrap everything. But the girls, both girls used to really like Num Noms. Now mostly just my youngest is into it because my oldest is too old. Um, but she has quite a big Num Nom collection. And I remember when they were like new and in all the toy stores and they were a lot more expensive. Now they're in a discount store. So if that tells you that they're not that popular anymore, but they're still really cute and she still really likes them. And this is the Num Noms Lights Mega Pack. So it looks like there's two mystery ones. You have some light up rings and Num Noms are these little like scented kind of rubbery little things. They're all different foods. Like you've got key lime jelly and paisley peach and berry jelly and birthday jelly. All different little characters with cute little faces. And this one actually comes in like this cute ice cube tray. Well, she saw this and thought it was really cute. Woo! I threw it. So I got that for her. Also from Ollie's, I got this watercolor glue resist kit. Super neat because it comes with the designs. We've done resist art in the past, but I like that it comes with the drawings. Like you can go ahead and just trace over top of their drawing with the glue. You do your watercolor over top and then um, you come out with all these different designs. I thought that was really neat. She has done a lot of watercoloring in the past. She's done resist things in the past. I like how it combined them both uh, and gave you, you know, everything that you need. The instruction kit, it did come with watercolors. So I thought she would like that. Also from Ollie's, I got this Shrinky Dink kit. I was obsessed with Shrinky Dinks when I was little. Um, and this one's really neat because obviously it is Shrinky Dinks, but it comes with this little silver envelope looking purse. And once you color the little designs and they shrink, they actually fit inside this little silver purse. I thought that was super cute. It's got 25 pre-cut, 25 pre-cut, pre-printed Shrinky Dink shapes. So she can color them all and then make jewelry and everything with them. I thought that was fun. When I was at Five Below, I found this DIY Jelly Junior Squeezables. They're basically making your own of these little like jelly characters. They're kind of like a squishy, but more, I, I don't know. There's not really another word besides gelatinous. Like they have a really weird slippery kind of feel and you can make your own. So she's got a couple of these that she's bought like already made but these you make your own of so i thought she would like that and it's sticking with the squishy tactile thing um this is the i don't know how to say that bone slime smushables so it is a squishy that also has slime on the inside so you kind of are combining the best of both worlds with slime and a squishy and she's still really obsessed with squishies and all that fun stuff to play with, so I thought she would like that. And also, play foam. We have got all kinds of things in our house. We've got kinetic sand, play foam, slime, squishies, any water beads, any of that stuff you can imagine we've already got. Um, but these are really neat because they actually have little characters on the inside. There's two little alien spaceships here. And it says five surprises aboard every ship. So it's play foam. It's like those little play beads, but inside there's actually the little characters too. I thought that was really fun. I hadn't really seen it in a collection like this. So that's going in her stocking. 
And then I also picked up this plush journal. Both girls are obsessed with anything like notebooks, journals, stuff like that. And this one's plush and soft and fuzzy and has little ears. So this came from Five Below, it was $5, and it's just a lined notebook on the inside. But I thought if she wants to take notes, she wants to draw on it, she wants to you know, write in her diary, whatever she wants to use it for, but I thought that was really cute. Okay, and then I also got her these nail stickers. She has seen her older sister sometimes use like the press on nails and she wants them and I think you're too young for those and your nails are too small for those. But these are nice because they're just the stickers and she can file them down to fit her shape of nail. And every now and again, she just likes to do that and I thought it'd be fun. So I picked those up for her at Ulta. And I also got her this Burt's Bees Strawberry Lip Shimmer. I obviously don't want her wearing lipstick, but this does have just a little bit of shimmer. It's scented like strawberries and because it's Burt's Bees, it's really natural. This one's 100% natural, so I knew she would like that. And then also a klutz item. I did show a klutz item in her um, Christmas tree gift video, and I know you guys know how much I love klutz. This is the klutz clay charm bracelets. So you can make 10 clay charms, just like Klutz always does. They give you all of the instructions and all the supplies you're gonna need. So she can go ahead and design the jewelry that she likes and then you bake it and you can make a charm bracelet with it. So I thought that'd be something really fun for her to do. So those are the items that we're gonna be putting in our 10 year old stocking this year. I hope you got some great ideas. Make sure you also check out my gift guide playlist. It's linked for you in the description box. Every previous gift guide video I've ever done is in that playlist. So every single Christmas, every birthday, and every Easter I've done for years and years now for both girls, there are they all live in that playlist. And you're gonna get so many ideas from the videos in that playlist. Um, so make sure you check it out, especially the Easter ones. The Easter basket videos are really good to watch, especially for stocking stuffer ideas because typically, not always, but typically the items are a little bit smaller. So you're gonna get some great stocking stuffer ideas in that video. And also, like I have talked about all, all week long, Make sure if you do not have a Rakuten account that you sign up for one. It is a website where there are thousands of retailers that participate with them. And basically anytime you shop through Rakuten, you're gonna get a percentage of your order total back in your Rakuten account and cash back. It's free to sign up, it's free to use, and let's say you were going to buy something at Kohl's. And so you go through Rakuten first, either by going to the Rakuten website or by downloading the Rakuten button that goes up on your browser. You click that button, it'll take you through, it'll take you to Kohl's through Rakuten. And let's say Kohl's had 10% cash back that day, which they do quite often. Um, and then you purchase $100 worth of stuff at Kohl's, you're gonna get $10 cash back into your Rakuten account just by purchasing that stuff that you were gonna purchase anyway. It is free to sign up, it is free to use. I've used it and been a member for years and years and years. And every single quarter when they mail me my check, I get at least a couple hundred dollars. Uh, because of stuff that I bought, I was gonna buy anyway, but I went through Rakuten first. I do have a video that I'll try to remember to link below how to make the most money possible with Rakuten because it's not gonna make you any money if you don't use it or if you don't use it to your advantage. But if you do, you'll definitely get a decent sized cash back check every single quarter by using Rakuten and using it the right way. Sure, if you don't have a Rakuten account that you sign up with my link in the description box, it is free to sign up, it's free to use, and you'll get $10 bonus cash back in your Rakuten account just by signing up through my link and using Rakuten for the first time. So definitely check that link out if you don't have an account. I hope you guys got tons of gift ideas in this year's 2020 gift guide series that I did. I love doing these videos for you guys. You guys ask for them and talk about them and I get comments on them all year long. People watch these Christmas videos even in the dead of summer or in springtime, I still get comments all year long about, oh, I love this, or I really want that, or I watch these videos to get ideas for my kids. Make sure if you did enjoy this video and or all the other videos in this series, you give this one a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next one, bye.